himself. Happy Tuesday. So all is not well at CNN. Yes, there is more friction in the fake news factory than there is between Stelter's thighs while wearing his favorite pair of Lululemons. <laughs> I speak of the network home of hysterics, hall monitors, and one anchor who would make a great, well, anchor. <laughs> As you know, Chris Cuomo is in more hot water than a package of ramen noodles. He just got suspended indefinitely. According to the New York Attorney General's office, Chris was far more involved in his brother's damage control efforts than previously admitted. I know, a CNN anchor shading the truth. Who ever heard of that? <laughs> CNN got very angry. Fake news. CNN is totally fake. Yeah, way ahead of his time. Now, as you know, Andrew Cuomo, the ex-governor, was accused of sexual harassment multiple times. The guy touched more women than Pete Davidson at a rap party. <laughs> Chris admitted to helping his brother out in fighting the accusations, and who wouldn't help his brother, really? But new documents reveal he was in regular touch with his bro's former top aide, and as accusations piled up, Chris demanded knowing when damaging articles would come out, promising he'd use his media connections to help his sleazy sibling. So this is turning into the best Lifetime movie I've ever seen. <laughs> and I've seen them all, <laughs> including the 12 Men of Christmas. <laughs> Delicious. Now, previously, Chris said he never made calls to the press about his brother, and why shouldn't we believe him? He's been so honest before. All right, here it is. The official <laughs> re-entry from the basement. Cleared by CDC. A little sweaty. Just worked out. It happens. <laughs> this is what I've been dreaming of. <laughs> he just worked out. <laughs> now, to pull that off, you need a blind spot the size of Wendy Williams' feet. <laughs> nice. That was good. Thank you. But it seems like Chris was indeed gathering intel, including dirt on one accuser. You know, Hillary would be so proud of Chris. <laughs> now, after hearing all this, I'd wonder, how does Chris keep his job? But then I remember this guy. <laughs> True, that was an unintentional error, and everyone deserves forgiveness for honest mistakes. But Greg, even if that involves burping the worm during a network Zoom call? <laughs> Well, I go back and forth on this, much like Tubin. <laughs> but my point is this. It's natural for network competitors to enjoy the spectacle of a rival's implosion. It's like when they demolish an old hotel in Vegas. You love to watch it. And Cuomo kind of deserves it. He's a blowhard who lauded Antifa and smeared decent folk as bigots. He churns out fake news like the Amish do butter, telling you to live by the rules that he then happily pisses on like a urinal cake. He screamed at you to obey lockdowns as he violated his own. Seriously, what a list of obnoxiousness to choose from. It's like the polyester shirt section at Walmart. <laughs> There's Q-Tip Theater, where Chris stole one of Carrot Top's props to humanize his jerk-faced brother. In scale, this was the actual swab that was being used to fit up that double-barrel shotgun that you have mounted on the front of your pretty face. You know, maybe he was just trying to keep his brother's nose clean. <laughs> There's the moment where he mocked the crime wave and those who were raising alarms about it. They're going to take your country away, and they're taking down the statues. And crime is rising crime as is they rising. defund police. Oh, my gosh, it's so bad. And they're defunding police. It's like... Yeah, that didn't age well. By the way, it's nice to see Chris finally discuss the new smash-and-grab robberies. Smash and grab, it sounds like one of his brother's top dating techniques. <laughs> but I guess Chris could no longer chalk that violence up to, show me in the Constitution where it says looting has to be peaceful. He also defended Antifa. Antifa or whomever, anarchist or malcontent or misguided, they are also wrong to hit. But fighting hate is right. And in a clash between hate and those who oppose it, those who oppose it are on the side of right. Uh, he was, in short, an overpaid jackass. <laughs> but in the media, that describes all of us. Except, of course, kill me. He's just a jackass. <laughs> anyway, but I feel at times that I'm an overpaid jackass, too. But then I remember I work at Fox, and I conclude that I am an underpaid jackass. <laughs> Seriously, Fox, how can you expect me to maintain a Bolivian cocaine habit, six mistresses, three full-time cabana boys in St. Bart's on a 14 mil a year salary? <laughs> it's like they don't even consider the fact that my shoe inserts are made of ivory. 
<laughs> Last week, I had to let a houseboy go because his nonstop crying upset my Bengal tigers. <laughs> so what am I getting at? The scuttlebutt in this high school cafeteria called the media is that Chris is what you find next to your ham and eggs at IHOP, toast. Well, it's either toast or a Lee press on nail. But he's like the Greeks, ancient history. He's like peaches at the supermarket, canned. He's like a loaded gun on an Alec Baldwin set, discharged. <laughs> but why should he be fired? What did he do wrong? I mean, besides help a corrupt politician smear an accuser by using his network connections, that's it? Come on, who hasn't done that before, am I right? I say it's not time to fire Chris, but to save him. Right now, America's hero is under fire. His name, Chris Cuomo. His only crime, helping his brother, and also uncovering dirt on a sexual harassment victim using his media connections. But is that really grounds for dismissal? We say no. Here's why. If they fire Chris, they might replace him with someone better, like this guy, or this guy, or this guy. Thankfully, it'll never be this guy. Plus, America needs Chris Cuomo. Not for the news, facts, or educated opinions, for the laughs. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. But the turnout of white supremacists was thankfully pathetic, which is why I didn't have to go there and go. This is a travesty of mockery, a travesty of a sham of a mockery. For pure knucklehead entertainment, you couldn't beat Chris with a bag of dead crickets. Oh, the crunch. Mmm, that's good eating. And finally, we don't root for people being fired, even if they root for us to be fired. Unless it's Joy Reid, she's a racist. So it's time to save Chris Cuomo and save America. Let's get after it. 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 For lack of a better term, I can't quit Chris. <laughs> And look, the media is a moronic medium. So it is his fault that he's a moron? We attract them like flies on poop. And it's this environment that often dictates changes in your behavior. I mean, look at Kat. She wasn't this <laughs> crazy when I met her. The news did it to her. This was her before Fox. <laughs> and you've seen it yourself. So-and-so leaves Fox for someplace else, and suddenly they're different. So the old line is, don't hate the player, hate the game. I came up with that as a kid while playing spin the bottle with my grandmother's schnauzer, the bitch. <laughs> but the game these days is to inflame, divide, and incite. Until we change that game, there will always be more Chris Cuomo's than Greg Gutfeld's. Firing them does no good because another one bubbles up. If we keep at it, who knows we'll be hosting, who will be hosting that CNN 9 p.m. slot. <laughs> Let's welcome tonight's guest. He's up at the crack of dawn, spreading news without a yawn. Co-host and Fox and Friends first host, Bud Pyro. I said host twice. She's worked in more places than WD-40. Fox business anchor, Susan Lee. She gives drug-sniffing dogs a contact high. Fox's contributor, Cat Tim. And he lights his cigars on the sun. My massive sidekick in the NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> Susan, as we were going to the show, we found out on Twitter that uh, Mr. Cuomo was indeed indefinitely suspended. I want him to stay. What do you think is going to happen? You and want him to stay. It's I'm like the Harlem Globetrotters. I want to play the Washington Generals every day. <laughs> <laughs> and you cheer for the underdogs. I get it. Uh, no, I'm the overdog. Oh, yeah. I Always. cheer for the overdog. I want, million, to, yes. I want to crush the underdog. Don't you understand, Susan? <laughs> Look, I think this is a great case study, though, to once you open Pandora's box and mm -hmm. you go down that rabbit hole, you can't come out of it. Mm -hmm. So he can't be both brother and broadcaster. I think the Atlantic uh, said it best. Mm -hmm. Did you read The Atlantic today? The I was Ocean? surprised by that. No, the magazine. Who reads the oh, magazine? I read, I, read it. I read it. I did read it. Publication, and yes. it said he failed his viewers. He's broken his journalistic integrity, mm -hmm. and he has to go. 
Wow. So you think he should go? All right. Well. Well, I mean, he did. He did some bad. If he was hounding an accuser or using his uh, professional ties to go after an accuser, that's wrong. But still, Todd, that's not about me. This is about me. It is all about you. <laughs> like, as long if I, if if I lose Chris Cuomo, Todd, that's four segments on this show that I don't get. <laughs> We're just going to have to read your book, literally live <laughs> readings on air of your book. But if I, you haven't purchased it yet, Todd, I suggest you do. I love the plug. <laughs> but I, I keep asking myself, why have they kept this guy around so long? It's not like he's delivering these massive readings. I was yeah. telling you before, my show is on at 5 a.m. I am awake for only half of these shows. <laughs> yet some days, we beat Chris Cuomo's show yes. in the, the all-important... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Way to plug my show. Yay. Yay. What demo is it? It's the meth head demo? Right. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> it is huge. Huge with it's sneakers. It's a huge demo. But that's the point. If you have such a cancer like this in your locker room, mm -hmm. and that's the CNN locker room, don't you get rid of him to improve the overall product? But CNN doesn't. You saw Tubin. You've seen other people. They just don't care. My theory is, is that it's a clip factory cat. They don't care about the ratings. They care about putting out sensational clips that then travel along the internet like demons in the night to destroy you. <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting theory. <laughs> I have many more theories. Sometimes I write them down. I know that. <laughs> I know Blood. that. Uh, look, yeah, I mean, I don't think they had a choice. I yeah. don't think that they wanted to get rid of the, him. I think they tried really, really hard to not get rid of him. I mean, not just that montage, but I mean, he obviously was helping more than he said. Right. I, we all knew that. And like, we know what he said. My favorite texts in terms of showing why he's the worst is he's like, oh, well, if all they have is Lil Lindsay, then that's a good sign. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's saying that he knows there's a lot worse stuff. He wasn't like, oh, well, of course that's all they have because my brother would never do these things. Right. He wasn't defending his brother because he thought like, oh, we would never do this. He was defending his brother because they're they're both bad dudes. Well, and also, but they are brothers, and I'm I'm surprised he hasn't used the we are Italian defense, which his brother used, which should ban you from Italy. <laughs> I think. All right, Tyrus. We're Italian. <laughs> yes, we're Italian. That's what we do. That's what his brother said. But I digress. Here's the thing. You're an athlete. Like, should you take pleasure? Like, I I actually look at this and I think yeah he should go. But at the same time, it's like. I'm not. I, I don't like rooting for people to lose their jobs unless it's Joy Reid because she's a racist. So are you saying like do I take great joy in crushing my enemies or opponents? <laughs> yes. Within the confines of the game, yes. yes. Do I follow them afterwards in the parking lot and drag them? No. <laughs> there was a lot of unpack in your, in your monologue. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell burp the worm means, but whatever. Um, I don't want to know. And, that is, and please do not continue. But I agree with you, Greg. I don't think that he should be fired until they have their investigation. Mm. We have to, we're not, let's not be like them. Right. You know, where they'll make an allegation against a guy and not even do the due process and he's fired. And then you find out later on, although the evidence is damning in terms of mm -hmm. what he was doing with his brother with the text message and stuff, but he's also got a, a sexual harassment allegation on him too, but hasn't gotten an investigation. So we should wait. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we'll enjoy his dumbassery. Yes. Uh, and then if it's found in the investigation that he did do the things he's accused of, then, yeah, you got to fire him. But until that point, they shouldn't just do the woke thing and ruin a guy's life until you can prove it. Mm. it that's just fair. Uh, you, have what, you have swayed the audience in your favor. How does this, you're the, you're the quote, <laughs> business expert, Susan. Well, actually, my favorite text in that exchange was when he said, I got a lead on the wedding girl. Yes. <laughs> I mean, what, yeah. what is that? Yeah. That's, Again, that's not, not good <laughs> investigation. What is? Yeah, the wedding never girl. Never a good thing in Who's any context, girl? no matter There's what. There's no way to make that a good thing. Yo, saw the wedding girl. I got that's a my lead wife, on the bro. Wedding <laughs> like, <girl. yeah. laughs> it might be an independent, an independent film uh, opening at Sundance, and he was getting tickets. Oh. I have a lead on The Wedding Girl. It's a charming film. That's a very coming of charming age of fable, you. Susan. Yes. What does this do to CNN? Does it well. does it destroy the network? <laughs> Say yes. So it might surprise you I've worked at other places besides here. <laughs> like WD40. <laughs> And as Todd would know, that I think in, at any other place, you would be fired. Yeah, there you go. Well, we're going to be covering this wall to wall <laughs> for the rest of my life. Yes. What are they going to do with the double box with him and 
D Don Lemon. Lemon. They have the I love you session before. Oh, do they do that? You, know, do you, you should totally zoom yeah, in. I love yes. you session. Yes. <laughs> do you know the thing is? That Stelter's sitting there. He's, it's like he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's like hovering over a canned ham right now. He's like, this is mine. You notice he didn't really defend. He was the first guy to tweet well, it out. He's been standing he's been in, outside his office yes, on a perch yes, the whole he's time. Been, he's been wait, He's going, I'm going to have to let out Cuomo's pants. He keeps just walking by. He's I can make it into this. Just walking by. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.